I'm not going to be doing much texture painting in this one, but I wanted to do a video that showed this external editing function that Blender has. It's uh, it's not hidden, but not a lot of people know about it either, and it can be pretty powerful in certain situations. Um, all it does is it'll take a screenshot of your viewport and load that screenshot into an image editor where you can paint on it in the image editor. And then you can come back in here and reproject it, and it'll use the same angle you took the screenshot from. I'm not even sure how it works actually, but it, it works well, and and uh, you know it can help you out sometimes. It's, it's a good feature to know about. Um, to set it up is really really easy. You just have to tell Blender what image editor you want to use, and you do that in the User Preferences uh, File tab. There's this Image Editor slot right here. Uh, if you're on Windows, you'll probably want to browse to the executable, photoshop.exe or whatever. I'm in Linux, and we can usually just get away with typing the name in. And uh, that's it for setup. There's these options here for the screen resolution of the screenshot it takes. It looks like these other two are also options for it, but they're unrelated features, actually. There's just the way Blender has them organized, it looks like they're part of the same thing but they're not I'm gonna double the resolution on the screenshot here I'm also gonna turn on wire that's not necessary but for what I'm gonna do it's gonna make things a little easier for me and then you just line up your view how you want to take a screenshot I'm just doing a dead-on in this case and then you're just gonna hit this quick edit button it'll take the screenshot load the image um, or, and load the screenshot in the image editor, I should say. And you can see that the place that it puts the image is always right next to where you saved your blend file. So I don't know what you would want to keep this for. I usually just delete them when I'm done anyway, but, you know, they're there if you want them. Um, in the actual image editor itself, the screenshot you're not going to want to reproject, so usually you're going to want to make a new layer, and then we're going to hide that one when we export. You'll see what I mean in a second. I'm not going to do anything super nice on this either. This is just going to be a quick and dirty thing. And I'm going to just use this it's a radial symmetry feature that um, Krita has. Blender has one too for sculpt mode, but it doesn't have it for texture paint. And Krita looks like it lags pretty bad with the video recorder. Which could be problematic for me because I was planning on making some Krita tutorials. But yeah, again, this is... I'm not exactly painting anything super nice here. I'm just kind of... Uh, it's just a demo. Some kind of shield design is what I'm shooting for, but yeah, that's that's good enough. Um, like I said, you want to turn this off because it, it will reproject this back on, and you know I'd have a, um, a wireframe basically on my texture. I guess I might even be able to use it that way to get a wireframe look. I don't know. Um, when you save it, you always want to save it back as the PNG. I only mention that because some image editors like like GIMP in particular I know always wants to save as an XCF file um, it has to be a PNG otherwise it'll lose the whatever the orientation of where it's going to project from but yeah just save that out and then you go back to Blender and you can see that I can even move around this isn't a really finicky feature either it, it works well and uh, you just apply it and uh, let me turn off my wires and you can see that it put exactly what I painted in Krita and projected it right back onto the model. Yeah, that's that's all I wanted to show in this one. Um, I'll try to get some more texture painting ones up soon. Um, thanks for watching.